Hi, this is Joshua Fitzpatrick with AWC. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create a heartbeat so that you might be able to figure out if you have a good connection to your HMI. The PLC will then show that there is a good connection and or a bad connection uh, tentatively to about two and a half seconds. So right now, what I'm just going to show you is on the HMI side, you will need to set up a coordination area pointer, which the third bit of this word would actually be your life bit. So it's going to be the coordination area pointer. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up portal, add an HMI and a PLC, and then we will be setting up a connection. All right, so let me get portal open. All right, now that I have portal open, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new project, and I'm just going to call it LifeBit Program. Now I'm going to add my TP700 and my CPU1217C. So I'm going to go to my devices and networks. I'm going to go to my HMIs, Comfort Panels, TP700. Now I'll add my PLC, which is the 1217, 4.1. So first we'll drag our Profinet connection. Then we'll make the HMI connection. At this point, the PLC can talk to the HMI as long as they're both downloaded too. So first thing we do is open up our HMI connections. And we're going to go to area pointers. Same thing that we saw on this manual that is actually setting up for our life bit. So we're going to checkbox this. And now this is going to be the location where that word will actually be stored at. So you can choose a DB, an input, an output, or a M memory. So I'm just going to choose DB1 address 0. And I'm going to say checkbox. So this is set up. Now I just need to add that data block 1 to my PLC. But before I do that, so that y'all can view my HMI, I'm going to set up Smart Access. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to Services, and then I'm going to click Smart Access. And this will actually give me access to where I can view the HMI on my PC. Now we're going to add our data block number 1. And this will need to be non-optimized, so it can actually have a physical address. So bits from HMI. And it will be data block 1. So I need to right-click on here, and I need to go to Properties, and I need to make it non-optimized. Say OK. Now I will set up the bits, so it's going to be my coordination bits, right? And we're going to do an array of 15 bulls, 0 to 15, checkbox. Now at this point, we're going to download to both the HMI and the PLC and see which bit becomes active. You would think because you're looking at this, it's going to be 0, 1, 2, right? Well, the communication between the PLC and the HMI, there's actually a byte swap that happens. So it's actually going to be the second bit on the, on the second byte. So it should actually be 10. So let's see what it does. So save, and let's download the both of them. All right, it's found the PLC. Let's load it. You want to stop all, re-download this new program? Yes. And do I want to start the PLC? Yes. Now at this point, we'll download to the HMI. So then we can start seeing this 10th bit blink. And it'll essentially just blink on for one second, off for one second, on for one second, and so on and so forth. So at this point, I'm going to get online with the PLC. And as you can tell, this is that life bit that comes on for a second, off for a second, on for a second, off for a second. 
So to be able to get status onto the HMI to say that I'm connected, what I can do is I can write a little bit of code to where it will toggle a, a bool on or off depending on if it's good or bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a normally open contact with a timer on delay. Do you want to create a new data block? Yes. And the time will should be t pound 2.5 seconds. And then the bit that we're going to be monitoring is going to be that tenth bit. So right now, this will be high always at certain points. So we need to actually get one or the other. So we need to do a, we need to add another branch. Do a normally closed, the same bit, and we need to do another ton. Going to do that, and this will be also t pound five. And then we'll drag this up here. So now if this is on for more than 2.5 seconds or this is on for more than 2.5 seconds, it'll turn on this bit. So then the only time when this actually turns on is if there's a bad connection. So these bits will not be toggling. As you can tell right now, it's toggling. So it's toggling in between two seconds. So if I were to pull the HMI connection, it will just stay false. Once I plug it back in, I just make a new bit called good connection, define tag, say define, download this, and now we can watch it on the code itself. So the only time when the good connection should be turned on is if there's no connection happening. So it should always be false. Once I pull the connection, one Mississippi, two miss. So at this point it's running, and now once I pull the connection, after 2.5 seconds, bad connection has happened right now. So now I reconnect to HMI. It is now a working connection. So now I can use this to go to a second HMI or to like a DCS or whatever it might be to say I'm not connected up to the HMI. All right. That's how you set up a heartbeat to an HMI to double check that you have good communications between the PLC and the HMI. All right. Thank you for watching.